guess up everyone it's your girl brain shanae and today i'll be sharing with you some book mail some pre-orders i'm considering this as part of my july book haul <laughs> there, there's going to be like another like two other videos after this one so i feel like this is going to be book haul part one um but what you'll be getting from this book haul is publisher mail and pre-orders specifically uh so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that i have in this pile is a letter and it says the final strife on the back um which i do believe uh, since I did pre-order the book I was able to get a book plate so let me see here so yes I have the book plate and it says guild of knowledge to teach and discover all um that is my uh, guild that I tested when I did um the whole uh promo and stuff for it um and then of course here is the author's um signature so we have that. I cannot wait to put it in my final Strive coffee, uh, copy. Um, but yeah, I was able to do this. This was like a promo if you had uh, pre-ordered her book. Um, but yeah, this is really pretty and I just love the how it's glistening with the silver. So we have that. Um, the next thing we have here, this is by Riss um, Nielsen. She had uh, did um, Providence in the Deep or Deep in the Providence um, that I read and did a book review for, which I really love. So I'll leave that up above. Um, but she had sent me this because um, I also pre-ordered her book. So I was able to get a couple things. So here we go. I'm opening up the envelope now make sure I got everything so the first thing I see here is a book plate it says you are enough um, and it says of course deep in Providence right here with the author's signature so we have that the next thing we have is a bookmark and I have Natalie one of the main characters in the book so we have Natalie and then on the back says deep in Providence a novel by Riss M. Nielsen it says Natalie, Cancer Sun, 5'3", Protective, Trustworthy, Creative. And it says that on the back of the bookmark. And then we have a, a art print of one of the, of the main characters here. So we have that. And then we also have some stickers, which I'm trying to figure out where to put them. I'm thinking about maybe put them, put them on my laptop. Um, but here we have like all the main characters here. And here is a scene in the book on this one. They're both scenes in the book so we have both these stickers so I'm excited to put them somewhere and so there's that the next thing that I have here is going to be from a fellow booktuber um she's not on booktube right now uh I believe um they're focusing on their art so let me see it's from Starla I believe is her name so it says thank you I had ordered a bookmark And so, take it out. Here is the bookmark. I'll take it out of the plastic. And it's in a protective seal, so the uh, bookmark won't get messed up. And here is the bookmark. This is her art specifically that she, um, they, uh, she draws. So here is that with a little tassel. So here is the bookmark. It's really pretty. And then we have a little something in here that came in the package. Let me open it here. Looks like uh, some candy. Okay. So we have a peppermint and then we have creamy delight hard candy. It's peach flavored. So we have some candy in here. And then we also have the business, business cards which says Starla enjoys. It's um, artist and content creator. And it, and it gives uh, all the... Um, social media content as well as all the social media handles so here is the business card and then here is all the where you can find her right there they'll focus but there's that so we have that I was able to get a bookmark which I cannot wait to use so we have that let's see here the next thing let's go ahead and get to some books so this is from I'm not sure it doesn't really say but it seems like this is publisher mail so we're gonna open it and see what's inside Ooh. oh my gosh yes I had, oh my god I cannot wait to read this oh my when I saw this I'm like I had to get it and this is a graphic novel and it is fibbed by Elizabeth Agmeng. Uh, hopefully I'm pronouncing the author's name wrong. If not, I'm sorry. But here is the graphic novel and it's called Fibbed. 
and I cannot wait to read it. It says the most magical stories are the ones that are true. So we have that and then on the back it says Nana is not a liar. She always tells the truth as ridiculous as it sounds to hear about the troop of circus squirrels stealing her teacher's uh, toupee. When another outlandish, like, outlandish explanation lands her in hot water again, her parents announce that Nana will be spending the summer with her grandmother in Ghana. She isn't happy to be living with family that she barely knows and in a country where she can't really speak the native language. But all her worries get a whole lot bigger, literally, when she comes face to face with Anansi, the trickster spider of legend. Nana soon discovers that the forest around the village is a place of magic watched over by Anansi, but a group of but a group of greedy contractors is draining the magic from the land, intent on selling the wishes for their own gain. Nana must join forces with her cousin Tiwa, new friend Akwezi, and Anansi himself to save the magic from those who are out to steal it before the magic and the forest are gone for good. So yeah, I cannot wait to read this. Just look at the cover. I love the vibrant colors and it's just beautiful. Oh, and I cannot wait to read this graphic novel. Just look at it. This is beautiful. I love it. I cannot wait to read this. So yeah, we have Fibbed. The next thing we have here is some other publisher mail. And this is from Cork Books. So let's open this package. Oh, yes. All right. And this is a picture book, which I cannot wait to read to my children. So the book is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It's based on the film written and directed by John Hughes and illustrated by Bonnie Pang. Oh my gosh, just look at this. I cannot wait to read this to my kids. They haven't watched the movie, uh, of course, <laughs> but uh, maybe they will appreciate the book instead. Um, of course, I've watched the movie. Um, so this is gonna be so cute. And it says a pop classic on the corner right here. And then on the back, of course, it says high school right there. I cannot wait to read this. This is so cute. And then let me see if I take the dust jacket off. Oh, look at the end papers. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Like, I like that. And this, of course, here's the cover again. Oh, like, I love the end papers. It's so cute. I love it. I love it so, so much. Um, so we also received some stickers um, right here. So these are really cute. I like the stickers. And then we have a note from Cork Books. Um, and it says, widely considered one of the best teen movies of all time, John Hughes' iconic film, uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, was an instant smash hit uh, upon its release in 1986. Now, fans and family can enjoy this hilarious and heartwarming story about living life to the fullest in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the classic illustrated storybook. With joyful and nostalgic illustrations by Bonnie Pang, this age-appropriate picture book adaptation is the latest in the best-selling pop classics series but yeah this is so cute and of course for the synopsis i'll read it even though i'm pretty sure most of you that are watching have seen ferris bueller if you haven't you should definitely uh, watch it but it says life moves pretty fast and ferris bueller is determined to make the most of it on a beautiful morning ferris bueller pretends to be sick and plays hooky from school with his friends nervous cameron and carefree sloan they head to the most exciting place they know downtown chicago they climb to the top of the tallest skyscraper visit the museum and cheer on a baseball game but grumpy teacher Mr. Rooney, determined to catch Ferris skipping school, is on their trail. Will Ferris get away with it? Help anxious Cameron live in the moment and have the best day off ever. So yeah, this is going to be really cool. My kids are going to love this. It just looks really neat. And then also they give, uh, it gives you uh, the other uh, pictures or picture books that are part of the pop series. So I know we have Rugrats. Um, there is Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Elf. Uh, Back to the Future, E.T., School of Rock, and The Karate Kid. So these are other um, uh, pop classic books, too. And then also, they give us a little activities that I could do with my kids. Uh, so it says, Ultimate Hometown Adventure. Ferris takes Sloan and Cameron on a grand adventure across downtown Chicago. If you can plan the ultimate day in your hometown, what would you do and why? So that's a little activity that I can do with my kids and they can fill it out. And then on the very back, it says, paint your own masterpieces with Ferris, Sloan, and Cameron. When Ferris, Sloan, and Cameron visit their local art museum, they get to see amazing works of art from talented creators. 
what masterpiece could would you create draw it in an, in the empty frames so we have this as well so yeah this is really cute thank you so much pork books i definitely cannot wait to read this to my children they love these pop classic series especially if they haven't like seen the movies they're after what like reading these books they are interested so yeah i definitely cannot wait to read this to my children but we have this from cork books the next package i hear it right here is from penguin team so let me open this one oh my god oh yeah oh my god i cannot wait to read this oh, so this book comes out in september and that is how to succeed in witchcraft by alslin uh brophy or brophy oh this book looks beautiful oh i cannot wait to read this this is probably going to be a book that i read in uh, september um but let's look at the cover it's beautiful i love this so so much oh, so beautiful even um, Aiden Thomas had a blurb on the book. It says captivating, romantic, and deeply powerful. Oh, yeah. So let me read the synopsis and see what this is about. It says, come for the cracking queer banter. Stay for the history of magic. So it says, magically brilliant, academically perfect, chronically overcommitted. Shay Johnson has all the makings of a successful witch. As a junior at T.K. Anderson Magical Magnet, Magnet School, she's determined to win the Brockton Scholarship. Her ticket into the university of her dreams her com her competition anna freaking alvarez the key to victory impressing mr b drama teacher and head of the scholarship scholarship uh, committee committee excuse me i can't talk right now when mr b asked shay to stay to star in this year's aggressively inclusive musical she warily agrees even though she'll have to put up with anna playing the other lead but in rehearsal shay realizes anna is not the d despicable witch she thought Perhaps she could be a friend or more, and Shay could use someone in her corner once she becomes the target of Mr. B's unwanted attention. When Shay learns she is not the first witch to experience his inappropriate behavior, she must decide if she'll come forward. But can she speak out when her future's on the line? An unforgettable debut, How to Succeed in Witchcraft, conjures up searing social commentary, delightfully awkward high school theater, and magical proclamations of love. Oh, I cannot wait to read this. And this, like I said, it comes out in September. So this will be a book that I read September, but who knows? It might be a book that I read in August. We shall see. Oh, but I cannot wait to read this. This looks really good and something that I definitely will read. But yeah, we have this from Penguin Teen. So thank you so much, Penguin Teen. The next book, let's see. I had got this from Book Depository because I kept hearing great things about this series and I wanted to read it for myself, which is possibly going to be a book that I read in August. And that is The Grace of Kings by Ken Liu. Uh, this is the UK edition. Um, I ordered, like I said, from Book Depository because I like the UK covers better. That's just me. Uh, so I had gotten the UK cover. So here is that. And then on the back it says sad, funny, pugnant, and addictive will leave a lasting impression on the genre. So yeah, I definitely cannot wait to look forward to reading this in August. This, this book looks so beautiful and amazing. And then I know there's three other books after this one. So I'll probably be reading it as well. So I'll read the first book in August and the second book, third book, you know, yada, yada, yada. Y'all know how it is. <laughs> so it says Emperor Mapadiri was the first to unite the island kingdoms of Dara under, under a single banner. But now the emperor is on his deathbed. His people are exhausted by his vast un of conscriptive engineering projects and his counselors conspire only for their own gain. Even the gods themselves are restless. A wily charismatic bandit and the vengeance sworn son of a deposed duke cross paths as they each lead their own rebellion against the emperor's brutal regime. Together they will journey to the heart of the empire, witnessing the clash of armies, fleets of silk draped airships, magical books, and shape-shifting gods. Their unlikely friendship will drastically change the balance of power in Dara, but at what price? It says, The Grace of Kings is the debut novel by Hugo Nebula and World Fantasy Award winner Ken Liu, and the first in the monumental epic fantasy series, The Dandelion Dynasty. Oh, wow. So yeah, I, I will definitely be reading this in August, and it looks really good. I hear nothing but great things about this series, so why not? So yeah, I had gotten the UK edition from Book Depository, and it's really beautiful. I love it. The next books are, uh, let's see, I, this is another book from the publisher. So let's go ahead and open this one. But and then the next two books are going to be uh, pre-orders that I've gotten. Let me open this one. Ooh, can't, oh, thank you, Penguin Teen. <laughs> I cannot wait to read this. 
Uh, so we have uh, R. Eric Thomas, Kings of Beemore, which I am excited to read. This looks really interesting and really like cool. I'm excited for this book. Um, and even on the back it says, planning a summer day of adventure is easy. Saying goodbye to your best friend at the end of it is impossible. So we have this book right here, which just recently came out. So I'm really looking forward to reading this as well. My TBR grows and grows and grows. It's never ending. Uh, so for the synopsis, it says, with junior year starting in the fall, Harrison feels like he's on the pre uh, precipice of, well, everything. Standardized testing, college, and the terrifying unknowns and looming pressures of adulthood. After that, it's like the future wants to eat him alive, which is why he's grateful that he and his best friend, Linus, will face these things together. But at the end of a shift at their summer job, Linus invites Harrison to their special spot overlooking the city to deliver devastating news. He's moving out of state at the end of the week. To keep from completely losing it and partially inspired by a cheesy movie night pick by his dad, Harrison plans a send-off, a LaFerris Bueller's Day Off that's worthy of his favorite person. If they won't be having all the life-expanding experiences they thought they would this year, Harrison will squeeze them all into their last day together. They end up on a mini road trip, their first pride and a rooftop dance party, all while keeping their respective parents who track them on family location apps off their trail. Harrison and Linus make make a pact to do all the things, big and small, they've been too scared to do. But nothing feels scarier than saying goodbye to someone you love. So, oh God, I cannot wait to read this. This sounds so good. And of course, if I take the dust jacket off, this is what it looks like. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know if you've read this book um, below in the comments section. Like, let me know if you haven't read it. Do you plan on reading it? Just, just let me know. But yeah, I look forward to reading this. And once again, thank you so much, Penguin Teen, for sending me this. Now we're to the pre-orders, all right? So let's get into this package. And this is from Barnes & Noble. Yes, all right. This is my pre-order. I'm excited. So we have my copy of Beast of Ruin. So if you if you don't know, you know. Uh, if not, you should know that I did a whole book review about this book, which I'll leave up above so you can check it out. But I really love this book. I gave it a five to five stars. I wanted to get my um, my hardcover copy for this one. Um, and I cannot wait for the third book to come out. Um, but yeah, this has a map and everything in it. It's just so beautiful. And this is what it looks like if you take the dust jacket off. Oh, I love this book so, so much. It was so good. I have no complaints whatsoever. Like if you haven't read Beast of Prey, go ahead and do so so you can pick this book up too because this is really, this book devils into roots and your heritage and your history and finding your identity, um, which I love that concept and aspect of this book. Like Ayana Gray has done a fantastic job and I'm so excited for her um, because she deserves all the flowers she can get. Um, but yeah, this book was phenomenal. So definitely pick it up if you haven't but yeah I had to pre-order this I, I had to just had to and then last but not least we have this pre-order as well which is part of this book is a part of a series opening it I'm excited all right let's get into it I can get out the book all right or out of the box excuse me <laughs> so this is the next book in the uh, mirror novel series and that is a, a fractured path and this is by jc cervantes um i have uh, the other two books i have the broken wish right here and then i have the shattered midnight all of these books are from different authors so the first book was by julie dow the second book was was by danielle clayton and this book is going to be by j is by jc cervantes and then we have one more book and i think that's going to be be by l l l mckinney so yeah i cannot wait to read this like after reading the other the first two books like like phenomenal we're following a family over like years apart like decades apart so it's just very fascinating um and also within the covers of the books you have like little easter eggs within them especially like the shoes definitely like the shoes is definitely something you definitely want to look out for if you haven't read this yet because it changed the shoes change over time with each family so yeah i'm excited to read this and it goes more into like the family history of like we're the agnes family and the Mathilda's family. So we're following these two families. Um, and we and each book we meet, we meet all the different characters, which I am so excited to read. So for this book, let me read the synopsis. 
So it says San Francisco, California, 1965. So in the first book, we were in Germany. The second book, we were in New Orleans. And now we're in San Francisco. So it says the 1960s are bursting with music and movement and love in San Francisco. Perfect for a budding artist like Blake. Unfortunately, the art world is not welcoming to people of her gender or her multiracial heritage, making it tough to land an internship that could put her on the map. That, plus the fact that Blake's family has been notoriously riddled with bad luck, makes her feel like she can't watch a break, or can't catch a break, excuse me. Things only get worse when Blake starts to have an ominous, confusing visions that grow stronger and more frequent, prompting Blake's aunt and uncle to tell her about a long lost family heirloom that could be the key to everything. Fueled by the ambiguous clues in her visions, Blake sets out on a journey through the city to retrieve her ancestor's legendary mirror. But Blake is not the only one looking for it. Soon she must attempt to unleash her own dormant powers or else risk all she holds dear. Fractured Path marks the third book in the innovative YA fairy tale quartet written by Julie C. Dow, Danielle Clayton, J.C. Cervantes, and L.L. McKinney. So yeah, we're continuing on with this story. I'm excited for it and I can't not wait to find out more about Blake. Sounds really cool. Um, but that is it. That is my, you know, part one for my book haul for July. Also my publisher mail and my pre-orders. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button and that bell so you notify when I upload more videos in the future. But thank you so much for watching everyone and please stay healthy and stay safe. See ya!